I'm gonna show you how to say mermaid in different languages. Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video with the Traveling Merman. As you know, I speak different languages and I wanna share with you how to say mermaid in those languages as well as in different languages that some followers have shared with me or places that I've been to and learned how to say mermaid in that language. This should be fun and exciting. Before we get started, as usual, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, share, and leave me a comment sharing your thoughts. So I'm gonna start with the languages I speak in the order I learned them. So first it's gonna be Spanish, followed by English, Portuguese, Italian, and a little bit of German that I know. <laughs> so bear with me as I share with you the translation of the word mermaid, a little bit of etymology, and maybe share a couple of mermaid legends from the folklore. In Spanish we say sirena. It comes from the Greek siren, which in Latin translated to siren, sirenis, and eventually sirena. The Greek name siren is related in meaning to a rope, and mermaids will be the ones that will tie or grab the sailors by luring them into the sea. That's why the meaning of the siren song, because it is believed in the early Greek mythology that mermaids, which usually showed up in trees on the reefs, will lure sailors on their boats with their songs and make them crash and then eat them. <laughs> by the way, Mermaids in the original Greek mythology were half bird and half human. Eventually, as the legend evolved, they turned into half fish, half human. There is also a lot of male versions of mermaids. In Spanish, we say sireno or triton, which is the son of Poseidon or Neptune, depending which mythology you look at. In Spain, they have the legend of Sirenuca from the region of Cantabria, the north of Spain. The legend talks about a mermaid that once was human. This girl used to go to the cliffs to collect seashells and mussels, and she would warn the sailors with her songs. Her mother was so tired of her going out there and risking her life that she cursed her by asking the gods to turn her into a fish and eventually that became true. So now we move on to my second language, which is English. In English, the word for mermaid is mermaid. And I'm gonna show you the etymology of it. It comes from the words mer, which in ancient English is sea, and maiden, which is young girl. So literally it means sea girl. As we go on in the video, I'm gonna share with you some other languages that I know and how they connect to English. They share the same root. One famous mermaid in English is uh, Ariel from Disney's The Little Mermaid, of course. And of course, Madison from Splash. So now we move on to Portuguese. In Portuguese, we say Sereia. In Portuguese, like in Spanish, they share Greek origin taken by Latin. It's just like in Spanish. It came from the Greek Seren. The male version would be Sereio, but Triton is preferred. Some followers share with me local folklore legends of mermaids, and I'm gonna share them with you. So this one is called the legend of Yara or Uyara which is Lady of the Lake. Uyara is Lady of the Waters, Mother of Water, according to Brazilian mythology. It's a beautiful mermaid that lives in the Amazon River. Her myth originated in the Amazon region, located in the north of the country. The fierce Ipupiara, the African Lemanja, and the European mermaid converged to create this unique mythical being. There are many versions. One of it actually says that the character was male, was called Ipupiara, a fishman who devoured fishermen and took them to the bottom of the river. In the 18th century, Ipupiara had become the seductive mermaid Uyara or Iara. Fishermen from all over Brazil, fresh or salt water, tell stories of young men who gave in to the charms of the beautiful Iara and ended up drowned in passion. Sometimes she takes the human form and goes out in search of victims inland. The indigenous people of the Amazon region tell that Iara was an excellent and courageous warrior. Her brothers were jealous of her, for her father praised her great greatly. One day the brothers decided to kill Iara. Sounds like Cain and Abel. <laughs> However, she heard the plan 
and decided to kill the brothers as a form of defense. After doing so, Iada fled into the wood, however her father pursued her and managed to capture her. As punishment, Iada was thrown into the river. The fish that were there saved her and, as it was a full moon night, she was transformed into a beautiful mermaid. So, that was a very interesting mermaid legend, don't you think? After Portuguese, the next language will be Italian. In Italian, we say sirena, which is just like in Spanish. For the boy, you can say sireno as well, but tritone, once again, is, I, I feel it sounds better, it's more used. The most famous mermaid legend in Italian, the ones that you see in the Odyssey, you can even hear of the regions like Capri. Capri is the forbidden fruit the coveted destination Ulysses' wish. So in the 19th century, a group of writers seemed to recognize the beaches of Capri, the places described by Homer in the Odyssey, the kind of places where Ulysses passed through, fascinated by the charming song of mermaids. Three rocky peaks not far from the shore. So the first is called Estella, which means star actually. The second middle, Faraglione, and the last, Escopolo or third Faraglione. If you want to feel the mermaid folklore in your own body and maybe go to Capri. I have shared with you Spanish, English, Portuguese and Italian. Out of those four languages, three of them have the same root, which is the romantic languages. French is also included in this. I don't speak French fluently or at all. I know that in French you say mermaid, sirene, and it's very similar to the other romantic languages. Did you know that siren and mermaid are two different things? Mermaids are supposed to be cute, sweet, adorable, and sirens are supposed to be naughty and mischievous. They are the ones that call the sailors with their song and drowns them. So it is comical that these languages adopted siren for mermaid. That's what we end up with, right? Because sometimes when I think about it, in English is mermaid, sweet and cute, but then in Spanish is sirena, which if I translate to English is siren, which is supposed to be evil. <laughs> The next language I want to talk about is German. I don't speak it fluently, but I was learning it and I got pretty far with the basics. So the way you say mermaid in German is Meerjungfrau. Once again, you can see that it has the same base as English, Mer, which means sea, Jungfrau, which means young lady, maiden. Another way to say mermaid would be say Jungfrau. The is lake, which would be lake lady. The male version can be called Wasserman, which literally means waterman or aquaman if you think about it. Some famous mermaids in German folklore are Nix and Nixie, which are the male and female river merfolk. The next language I'm going to talk about is Danish. In Danish, mermaid is Halfrue, and this one I learned when I went to Denmark to visit the Little Mermaid statue in Copenhagen, and an amazing follower of mine on Instagram, she taught me how to say it. Later looking at the word, after having learned German, I realized that they share the same Frue part, which means woman and then I realized that half means C in Danish so it was amazing to me to connect those languages Danish, German and English. These languages have Germanic roots, they are part of the same group. So isn't that amazing how everything gets connected? Of course one of the most famous mermaids in Danish culture would be the Little Mermaid from Hans Christian Andersen which later on inspired Disney to create the 1989 movie The Little Mermaid which we all have come to love. Next on my list will be Swedish. In Swedish we say <laughs> I learned this one from a follower on YouTube. We were exchanging comments and she asked me when are you coming to Sweden? I said hopefully soon it is on my plans. By the way how do you say mermaid in Swedish? And she wrote it out. I didn't know how to say it so I googled it and this is the pronunciation. By looking at it, I realized that it has fru, jungfru, which means to me, based on my Germanic knowledge, young lady. And then I can only assume that su means lake. And then she did write to me in the comment, it literally means lake lady. So once again, it all comes full circle for me in my head. All these languages share the same etymology. Isn't that amazing? Last but not least, I'm going to share with you how to say mermaid in Finnish. In Finnish, we 
say? So this one, I have no connection to. I have never taken Finnish or been there. I do remember when I started look for mermaid words in different languages. And this one just came up and it looked easy for me to say. So I just memorized it. And in my head, I would say merenato, which kind of sounded like the pronunciation Google said. I kept it in my vocabulary, but I have no real knowledge of it. Let me know in the comments how to say mermaid in your language and if there are any mermaid legends that I should know about. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and share with your friends and family. I hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to see you soon on another video. Take care. Mermaid kisses.